how to create a website custom audience in your Facebook ad account. That's what I'm going to be walking you through step by step in this particular video. If you don't know who I am, hi, my name's Alana and welcome to the Teach Traffic YouTube channel. I'm going to show you just how easy it is to create this audience and also Make sure you stay through to the end of this video because I'm going to share a quick tip that I learned while running my agency in creating certain different types of custom audiences that are really good for building well-performing lookalike audience. So let's go dive into my account. I'm going to walk you through exactly how to do this. Here we are in a live Facebook ad account. And um, as mentioned, we're going to create a custom audience. Now there's a number of different types of custom audiences you can create. I'll, I'll go into that in a sec. But really, uh, the, the idea is that you need to install the Facebook pixel on your website. So this is my website. You can see I've got a Chrome add-on, which has my, the Facebook pixel helper add-on installed, which detects the Facebook pixel on my website. It's highlighted blue, which means I know it, that there is a Facebook pixel on there. If it's gray for you, then it's not picking up the pixel and you need to install it. Okay, so we go into our Facebook ad account. We click on these three lines here for all tools and we go to the audiences section. This audience section in our account will contain all the different types of audiences, be it a custom audience, a lookalike audience, a saved audience, etc. So I'm going to show you how to create a custom audience. So we're going to click create audience and custom audience. Now there's a number of different sources that you can use to create your custom audience. You can create a custom audience based on people who visit your website, uh, a customer list, app activity, etc., as well as people who haven't actually gone to your website at all, ever. Maybe they've watched uh, portions of a video, uh, they've inter um, engaged in your Instagram account, lead form, etc. Okay, so we will often create a number of different custom audiences, the most common being website, customer list, uh, Instagram, Facebook page, and video ones, depending on what kind of activity you're doing. The process for creating a custom audience for each of those is really, really similar. So I'll just walk you through the first one, which is based on website traffic. So we go website and we want to tell Facebook to include people who meet any of the following criteria. So the source is this particular Facebook pixel, um, all website visitors. Now you can choose all website visitors or people who have visited specific pages on your website. So you might create an audience of people who visited, let's say, uh, your purchase success, success page. So you can exclude that audience potentially, or you might want to create people who've visited certain category pages on your website, um, as well as visitors uh, spent uh, by time spent or uh, from your from your uh, certain events that you've created. So I'm going to do all website visitors and it's going to be by default or well, the default setting here is 30 days. Obviously you can change this. Uh, the maximum allowable time that you can create a custom audience for web for website traffic is 180 days. If I go to hover over this, the maximum time is 180 days. Okay, so let's pretend we want to do that. So we type in 180. I've got to give this audience a name. So I'm quite particular about my naming convention. So I will say all web website visitors and I always put a duration 180 days. And that way it's just helpful f for me to know how um, which duration this particular custom audience is. Okay, and we click create audience. So my custom audience was created and it's asking me if I want to create a lookalike audience or an ad from that. No, thank you, Facebook. And I just click done. So we will often create a number of different website custom audiences, mainly being um, a seven day audience, a 14 day, 30 day. And we will always create a 180 day audience for the purpose of creating a really, really good lookalike audience. So that's a good tip for you. Even if you don't use your 180 day audience uh, in one of your ad campaigns, it's a really good audience for creating a lookalike audience because lookalike audiences need data. Okay. And as you can see here, it's populating. It usually takes, um, oops, I didn't mean to do that. Uh, usually uh, takes about 24 hours to populate. 
uh, but really it might happen quicker as well. So there you have it. That's how easy it is to create a custom audience based on website traffic. And um, yeah, go ahead and try this in your account and let me know in the comments below how you go. If you like this video, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more videos. Thank you.